Hey guys, as usual with uh, this kind of RPG Maker game, uh, I have to record things weird, so you're just going to be seeing parts of my screen. But, whoop, nope, hit the wrong thing. There we go. Just, just trust me. This is, this is the, the answer. Ah, new logo from Freebird. So yeah, I have a feeling um, Neil and Ava are going to be our protagonists throughout instead of the other doctors. I think they're more there for filler. So yeah, welcome to Finding Paradise, the official sequel to To the Moon. This came out in 2017, so a full six years after To the Moon. Um, that's because, again, I talked about this in uh, earlier in the stream, but in the last episode, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the Christmas minisode stuff, um, To the Moon blew up because it was that time where RPG Maker games in general were exploding. Um, so it, this just got, like, the first game got wildly out of control. And, um, like, in a good way. And, uh... And so uh, it, I think they just waited a while and want, they worked on the Christmas minisodes and they kind of like really laid the groundwork because we saw at the end of the first game, they definitely had um, like part one to the moon. So they'd always planned on doing more. So, but they call it the, the to the moon series, like colloquially, the own devs do. So begin. Yeah. And again, this doesn't have controller anythings it's just probably click and drag like the rest This is definitely an upgraded version of the RPG Maker they were using. RPG Maker comes out with a new variation like every other freaking. Yeah, how did we start the first game? Neil? I know that's Neil. No, it's Ava! Okay, I'm sorry, Neil. What the fuck, Ava? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. I hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. I, I'm with I'm with Neil on this one. They're fuzzy little menaces. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. A logic. Enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. And then I have to eat them for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? But don't you dare say it. Don't you mean... Pineapples? I'm not hungry anymore. So they're back to their usual chaotic ship at Dynamic. You just punt a bear in the lake? That is awful! If someone punted one of my stuffies into a body of water, I would- <laughs> that is grounds for murder. <laughs> Whoa, check out this rad bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? I would yeet them into the sun. I would put them in the ground. No jury would convict me. <laughs> because we're here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. Aw, oh, you missed a good opportunity for a Princess Bride reference. Neil, 
mostly dead. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. I'd rather click than hear the clackety clack clack clack. I'd rather you guys hear my click. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls, sushi. Yeah, uh, no. That's quite a stretch. Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. Hey now, what happened here? Potato? Who names their child Potato? Excuse me. She, she kicked my teddy into the water. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But Ma said my bonbons are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Who helps? Fine. Look, Neil's got it. He says he's got it. Hey. What? Huh. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Is he going to punt it in the, <laughs> in the pond? Unlike wimpy teddy bears, they... Do it, Neil. Do it. Do it. Yes! Neil. What the hell did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! You're my hero! Yeah, I'm, I'm with Neil on this one. That's a better solution. Sometimes war were declared. No probs, kid. In your face! This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Ava. Kinda like a- kinda like a tuna. I'm so conflicted on Neil. I want to punch him and hug him at the same time. Anything to observe? I didn't want to actually go in, but can we go out? Yes. Anytime your colleague is carrying an agonizingly heavy object is no time to wander. Okay, well. Neil. Hello. Or if she's old. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Voice might change. Hey there. This is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. The voices will keep changing until I can figure out what the fuck is going on here. What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. All right, maybe it's just me. Okay, so it's an old lady. Hello. Hello, may I help you with something? We can wait till you set that down, my box carrying comrade. Thanks, bro. You really get me. <laughs> Ava's like, damn it. 
Alright, yeah. Now I want to talk to Dave here. Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. Every time I see you folks, I know another room's about to go empty. At this rate, soon I won't even have a job here anymore. Alright. Tree. Why do people go through all the trouble of growing trees indoors? Probably for the same reason they grow cubed watermelons. No wonder I felt so oxidized as I enter here. entered here. That's not how you use that word. Look, I love to stare at the tree to no end like any red-blooded patriot, but we got a job to do. They're cool, but I mean, that's the point. They, they serve no other purpose. It doesn't, it doesn't, like, do anything. That's the same thing as growing a tree indoors. It doesn't do anything. Spouses, am I right? Hmm? Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. Okay, so old lady voice for Sophia. I could tell she had silver hair, but that doesn't really mean anything. Dr. Rosaline, is it? They're part of the whole stupid expensive fruit gift custom thing in Japan. Oh, that's cool. And Dr. Watts. <clears throat> yes, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. I'm gonna poke around a little bit. Or not. I feel like I knew that factoid and then it left me. You ever have that happen? Or you're like, I know this, and then it just... Like, you forget it and then someone says it and you're like, that's familiar. Oh, shit, you're from Sigcorp. Am I really dead? Uh, no. Brain dial-up noise? Yeah, same. Don't lie to me, I just signed up for your services last week. They said you'd come for me when it's time. I already told you, we're not here for you. No, I I I'm not prepared. I can't die yet. Oh, I know. You're not really here. I'm just seeing things. I just drank too much. Tra la 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 la. Okay, well, that was an extra interaction at least. So yeah, I feel like I knew that factoid, but also just forgot it. I don't know. But either way, it's cool. His, yes. Uh, yes, his eyes did just do swirly. We can talk inside. Colin's waiting. Again, I'm not going all out for the voices. Just prepping myself a bit for what's to come in 2022. Tell me, what do you want to change? Okay, so just like to the moon, going in blind, but I've heard nothing about the sequels. Huh, this is a quaint place you got here. Collins in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually... Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. Hey, I have an idea. Let's meet the patient first before rampaging through his property. Gee, when did you become so noble? 
when he wants to put the box down. Let me in. Let's leave the investigating till after we're all set, Sherlock. It's locked. Aw, look at that giant wedding photo. A wedding photo hangs behind the TV. The couple looks happy. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. An unplugged computer. A model of a small fixed wing aircraft. They did say he was a pilot. You must be here for my father. I'll get to you in a minute, bud. A song of solid dehydrogen monoxide and rapid oxidation. And then they too succumb to their mortal wounds as the last of the... No thanks. Reminds me too much of my job. Oh, can we go outside? Whoa, they've got a balcony! That's cool. Close the door behind us like polite people. You're the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. Are you guys ready to get settled? Oh, lag in the game. Not yet. My colleague could use more work out carrying the equipment around. She's always taking care of me. Where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is that table over there enough to get set up? Yeah, that'll do. Go ahead and get set up on that table over there. Better not disturb him in this state. Music room, huh? There are a surprisingly large amount of neatly folded long johns here. Is looking there really necessary? I am... I know I'm intruding and I don't care. Where are you two going? I'm just stretching my legs. And breaking my back. I'm getting extra dialogue and... Oh, that is... That's not even like on OBS's end, that's just the game. Set it down. Yeah, just give us a moment. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Huh, I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So are you two- so you two are for real? What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish? We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed, because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, Fessa, what is it that he wants? 
He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. Who goes to fetch the file? Plays Ava. Well, someone's gotta go get it. Neil's gonna tinker with the machine anyway. And that someone could be you. But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly. Do you want me to go back there and forget it again? Also, again, chaotic ship dynamic, so... I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Cool. That'll save some time. Already down to business, huh? Oh, hey, are you the doctor from the last game? Yeah, hey, I recognize you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. Save their arses. I forget that these guys are British. Ironically, they it turned out they got nothing to do today. Hmm, guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Might want to hurry and head to the car before someone breaks into it. What's there to steal? My apples. Hey, just come and get the patient monitor before you go. Don't worry, I'll have the machine set up in no time. I'll probably even have time to chat up folks. Here, this should help. See the remote patient monitor? Press escape or right click, okay. Excellent, now him having a heart attack would probably give me one too. Aha. Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. I know the doctor doesn't have a consistent voice, so. There we go. Don't you have to go get something before we can get started? Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm agreeing with Ava. She is pretty cold. An aged digital piano. A keyboard? I'd rather leave the snooping to Neil. He'll have time for it while I get to the car. No, we're gonna check things out, Ava. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. Unless, like, that's a part of the game, but I'm not gonna take that risk. Dang it, why is the toilet paper never on the dispenser? One day, they'll thank me for the unsung hero that I am. Okay, so it's all like a square layout. That's locked. We've already seen the wedding photo. We've seen all that stuff down there. And I'm guessing Asher's gonna give us the same, like... Nope, I should just go and fetch the papers quick. Neil could check this place out when he's ready. Well, just a few seconds wouldn't hurt. No. We explore on my terms, Ava. What the hey? Inefficient use of bookshelf detected. No kidding, that hurts. Someone taped it shut. I guess the owner prefers to keep it that way. Unseal it and open but it might help with the job to find out. And they did hire us. It's just a bunch of blank pieces of paper glued onto the spine. 
A leftover from the cleanup, perhaps. Receive note, green book. Soccer ball. An old and deflated soccer ball. You were the root cause of problems in the last game. An antique dust-covered mirror. A faded old painting of a flying single-engine plane. Is that the hat rack or is it the plane? A flat cap hangs on the coat rack. It's a hat rack. They do exist. No, go down, down the stairs. Press Q or mouse click. Mouse click. Mouse click what? Ah. Well, it's entered automated configuration mode. It does that now? Yep, my handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play hooky. But instead, I gotta go gather background info. Get background info on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. That's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. Yes. God, every time there's like an option thing, the game just slows down. Could you tell me about your husband? Why won't you be going into his head to see for yourself? Eh, you never know when additional perspectives would come in handy. I don't know what I could tell you that you won't be able to see. Wow, okay. Think you could spare some time to show me around this place? I'd prefer to stay here with my husband. Okay. Anything I can help with, Doc? Seeing as we're going to go into your father's head and all, some background info would help. Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although, more recently... But recently, what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that'd help. Sweet, spares me the asking. Asher has joined the party. Green book. It's filled with blank pages. Retired pilot. Oh, sorry. My house moved up a little bit. Colin used to work for the airlines as a commercial pilot. good. That's a neat piece. Yeah, that's my dad's. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Your parents' wedding photo, huh? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet they kept it so well. Huh, aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Okay, hibiscus. Family kept a pot of hibiscus around the house. Okay. I need 
anything in here, I guess? Not a zilch. What about the music room? Not the washroom. Yes, stuff in here. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. This is my father's old cello. He played it a lot back in the days. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Page cello. He plays this too? No, this is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. We all have our own, uh, we all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven's fifth. So, nothing about the piano, but Colin plays the cello. Apparently not well, though. An apartment with two floors? Reminds me of a double-decker bus. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. I guess of all his stuff. Looks like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Someone ripped off the tape already. Holy crap! What? What is it? Nothing. Huh? Literally nothing. It's just a bunch of blank, wrinkled papers. Seems like they were just glued back onto the spine, too. That's odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? I suppose. But either way, I can't do much with this as it, as it is. Let's look somewhere else. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. Thanks. Never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father then. My colleague will be back soon, so I should get, go get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this for a bit first. Aww. This is a whole ass mood. I like that silver streak of hair she has. Hey, she got her teddy back. Potato. Hey, you got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. Right. Please tell your parents to watch your sugar intake. Ma said if I ever get bored, I can just potate. I'm potatoing. Yay! What a vain attempt to conquer nature. I can sit. 
Oh, kind of. Done already? He didn't die on you, did he? No, just forgot something. But gosh, I sure hope not. Every time I see you folks, I know- Okay, yeah, we've heard this. Okay, what's down here? Nothing! Cool, why? I mean, I guess add it for atmosphere, but... Why let me go back there? Hello, old lady. <gasps> Honks! Who's dying, dear? Pardon me, ma'am. That coat and tag, you're from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin reads. Do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his fate. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. The days are getting colder, but that's what sweaters are for. I don't care much for cliches, but I finished knitting one for my granddaughter yesterday. There's not much I can do at this age, but at least I can protect her from the cold. Honks. The file isn't in the car, either. That doofus must have left it in the office. Eva! Hey, Roxy. Still at the office? Yep, just waiting on the elevator. Not that you'd understand, with it opening instantly for you every time. What? That's a myth. I wait for elevators, too. Yeah, when was the last time it didn't open instantly? Uh... See? You're either freakishly lucky or... Okay, okay, for pumpkin's sake. Look, Neil forgot the patient's file. Could you help us out? Okie dokie pokey loki. Pocky loki? It just, it seems easier to say pokey loki, so... Give me just a moment. Mission accomplished. Neil, the file wasn't in the car. Fuck, I forgot it at the office, didn't I? <laughs> Pocket Loki? Small. <laughs> yes. Small. It's fine, I called Roxanne. She's going to find it and send over a scan. Oh. Well, my office is locked, but she should check the printer in the lobby. Yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on Neil's table. Cool beans, just scan it and... Wait, Neil's table? You're inside Neil's office. Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? Yeah, but Neil said he had his door locked. Oh, a girl's got her ways. Elaborate. Not like that, silly. I just hacked his electronic lock like a slice of cheese. Oh, okay. Well, uh, 
Just get out of there and send... Oh, oh, well, uh, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Yep, yep, on it. Yeah, what are you gonna see? What? What's so sus? What's he hiding? Do it. Do it, Roxy. You guys got everything else you need? Yep, Neil's setting up the machine right now. How's the weather out there? Huh? Is it nice out for a drive? It's not bad. Neato, I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. Um, why? Just scan it. <clears throat> Hang on my throat. That suddenly dried up. Oh. And that is what the tea is for. Oh. Just scan it and send it over. It saves time for us both. Well, we've got no patience today, and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. Okay, Roxy. Have a safe drive. What an oddball that Roxanne. Is everything ready? You betcha. How about the file? Has Rock sent the scans? No, she said she's coming over to bring it in person. She what? Why? No clue. She said she was bored, but something felt odd. And then again, you know Roxanne. She's always a little cucumbered up in the head. Whoa, language, Ava. Anyway, I guess we could still start in the meantime. Your helmet's on the recliner. Good luck. I hope you can accomplish whatever my father set out you to do. Or set, set you to do. Blah, 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 blah. What are you waiting for? Might as well start at this point. Yes, ma'am. We're commencing in just a moment. Yeah, I'm with Ava. She is ice cold. Colin's condition is looking stable for the moment, but I would hurry. You never know exactly how long we have. Here's a look. Okay. Eh. Commence memory traversal. Let's go. Wait. Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish. Duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I do know that, but... How? What will you be actually doing? It's actually be doing. Oof. Well... We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best? The machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him it would be indistinguishable memories of a lifetime. However, the permutations the machine calculates would still have to log be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need, drawing a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to the past. So in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kickars dis- oh, Wow, wow, I was reading that as Ava. So, in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick-ass decisions and fill his own wish. Yes, I know they're British, but... Just by his own volition. Is that enough? Ah, sorry. Duh. 
quick aspirin break. Go. I'd have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There are few things that uphold the illusion of reality. Illogical happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's little need to, to uh, there's little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But in a simulation, based on the mental state of a single moment stretched through a lifetime, Let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo mon. Powerful voodoo mon. Yeah, thanks, Neil. Anyhow, no amount of volition's gonna help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but good luck. Luck's for lotteries. We're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two, one. All right, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the raining heavy sleeper champ over here. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on our patient? Hmm? The equipment. It looked different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back... Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a new feature? New feature. Behold! Never mind, forget I asked. Nope. I'm not doing it, Neil. Binary. Character customization. Uh, Neil, what are you doing? Smooth yet manly. Hipster stash. Amish paradise. Rich oil baron. He can't see his socks. <laughs> Dead sock puppets. Ta-da! You look the same. Huh, I guess the system computed that my handsomest look is just how I am. I, yeah, I figured leaving him just the same would be gold. Also, the other options were like, eh. I wonder, though. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, listen, you'd better not be... Tag, you're it! Neil, you son of a... Oh, Ava's so pretty! Hair, long flowing locks, pragmatic bun sticks, saucy bangs, classic Ava grand mustache, wizard beard, regal face carpet, socks, plain white, bright teal, giraffe print, fuzzy ch- what fuzzy- is that fuzzy Hanukkah? Is that what they're trying to say? Fuzzy chinu- I don't know. People spell Hanukkah like 20 different ways. Please don't at me. I have a lot of friends that spell Hanukkah that are, are Jewish face that pra fa face Jewish faith that practice Hanukkah. Yes, that's how I usually spell it. But there are ways to spell it with a C. 
that start with a C. Yeah, exactly. I, I have a lot of Jewish friends that like spell it 20 different ways, so I'm like, I don't know, man. Cucumber, more hole than sock, rainbow stripes, rare silk. Let's go rainbow stripes. Have Ava live on the edge. Although the bun sticks were cute, but I do like the flowing hair. Huh, I guess we're both fine the way we are. I was hoping for some fireworks, but I guess the system that chose it was being kind. Well, that's a lovely system. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's go find Colin before we run out of time. Hi. Nice socks, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just like last game. Oh, let's turn off world interaction before we wake her up. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. It's not polite to stare. Sheesh, and she didn't seem to like us before. She's not our client. Let's find Colin. Balcony? Colin. What the? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Note, unstable copy. There's an odd instance of Colin on the most recent memories balcony. Ah, opened up the house a little bit more. Doesn't seem like you can go up, but let me try. Oh no, you can. See up here? That weird book? Oh no, it's different. Still full here? Seems like you must have cleared it very recently. The one lone book, huh? Yeah, odd fellow. We need to find Colin. Okay, thank you. soccer ball wasn't there before or the soccer ball that was there isn't here right now so that's uh <laughs> yeah thank you Rosalie I'm pretty sure the hall didn't look like this dude's so old he can't even remember his own home but isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kind of spatial inconsistencies? Well... Oh, hey, look! Target acquired. Let's go. Turning on entity interaction. Colin. My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline. I am a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Corps. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatton. Dr. Man. Oh, Hatton. Dr. Manhattan. You are Dr. Neil Watts. How did you know? Your name tag. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin, your procedure has started. Good, it's not just me then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. 
Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. Huh, <laughs> fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're there, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I'd guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we got started. You are the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up. And the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good, I'll keep your state saved so we won't have this conversation again. Psst, run a save on his state. Yes, your highness. Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first going to backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way through to your younger self and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down. We still don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. It's his Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... It is a memento. Sweet, let's move. This memento's barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent, but the next one won't be so easy. We'll need to charge it up first. Oh, is there a new... Memories go the farthest when linked together. What? This is different. Oh, what? No. What the heck? Ah. It's kind of like Tetris? Mmm. Ah, I can... Uh -huh. Interesting. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Right, but was it... Well, it looks like somebody rushed up on him. Wait a minute. This place... Oh, is it an older version of the office? It's the Sigmund guest house. Ah, where they wine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure been a while since I've visited. Looks a bit different from when I was last here, too. Let's check it out. Only three mementos, huh? Or, uh, orbs. Requires one to proceed. Okay, so there's one out here. Uh, somewhere. This was a lot easier with controller. It was a bit more floaty, but... Ah. What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please write, oh, please write this way. 
Blah, blah, blah. Can't keep my voices straight. Bye. Can I talk? Here we go. Welcome to the Sigmund Core guest house. Please have a seat in our living room. Inspect it. Oh, there's the memento as his cap. Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? You must have come a long way to get here. I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. Again, can we make with the chatting. Okay, he needs to get back home. Nothing new. I don't recall the fireplace here looking like that. There's so much to the world, isn't there? Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there, once upon a time. I wonder if that's uh, the client that uh, Roxy talked about in the, the Christmas mini-sode. She did say there was a client that wanted to um, go around the world. This photo was taken from the stage's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? Not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. We sure get a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, consider it done. If we have to do another one of these, I'm gonna go take a nap. It's not so bad. At least we'd get it done fast and go home early. If you'd like to choose fame and riches for your last wish, consider it done. No, it's you two. Nothing is ever going to be that easy. You see, our service is really quite simple. You tell us your wish and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, unreached goals and secret desires, you name it. We're your genie, Colin. What is your wish? So, if I understand this correctly... You're saying I can't wish for more wishes. <laughs> you know, I've done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be, seen what I once thought I'd never see. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I walk through these doors and I realize that there's still this empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived a happy life and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we are here, Colin. Just give us the word and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want to fix? Regrets. I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life that I wanted. But I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. Whoa. You don't want us to change anything. Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things and we make them better. That's why you come to us, so we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you the chance to get it. 
But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of the life with my family intact. So you want to waive specificity from the contract? With something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of result. I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. Wow. Try not to change anything? And we have free reign over his fate? What kind of a last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Eh, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said, we'll put our best people on it. We're their best people, Ava. Booyah! Actually, about that. Never mind. Yeah, Roxy and uh, Robert were supposed to have the job. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. Oh, just one more thing. Don't tell my family. I don't want them to think I'm not content with how things are. Well, they have to find out eventually. Neil, don't do it. You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? Well, back in the days, you kept on yelling dumb juvenilities when shooting the barriers. But recently, I haven't heard any Hadouken or Kamehameha or whatnot. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Ava, you just had to open your mouth. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now I'm actually kind of concerned. What the heck? The cap? Boo? Oh, it's the cap, so I need to line up the caps. And the papers? Can you screw yourself? Like, I have nothing in this. Oh, no, 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 I get it. I, no, I get it. Just takes me a sec. There we go. Got a little bit more time before I call it for the night. Probably be able to get through one more memory. I'd better head out now, but before I forget... Here, take this hat, Pops. With the headache you've been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. All right, all right. I'll wear it if it stops this multi-directional nagging. Well, he looks dapper with it. Hey, it's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, I was talking with my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny, you see. She's single and... Look, thanks, but I think I just really need to focus on my career right now. So, you guys gonna go back to feeding the ducks or something? 
We wouldn't have to resort to that if you visited us more often, you little bastard. Aw, but that hat is 100% cotton. Well, alright. You're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overlord of the ducks. Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. Not for the duck thing, but like, you know what I mean. Don't stay out too long at this time of year. <laughs> Quack. I agree. That kid needs to make us a grandchild. Oh, Lord. What's wrong with Jenny, anyway? Probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you, were young, when you were young, didn't your parents try to push people onto you, too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Hmm. Sucked all the chemistry out of it from me as well. What are you doing? I'm texting him Jenny's info to set them up. Really? Yeah, don't do that. He's driving. Do it after he gets home. No, both of you. Good call. Make sure to include some pictures, too. The good ones, with the lighting coming from the side. No words. Regret, no grandkids. Colin wanted grandkids. Give him a memory where he hooks up with Jenny, I guess? Send the pics with no duck face. Yup. Send her some pics of Asher, too. The ones where his eyebrows are on point. Got it. Send the pics where the chin is down. Hmm. Don't send the ones with the duck face. You said that already. Ah, he's over here as well. Quack! They quacked. Are you serious? One for each duck? I'm not complaining. Wish there were a whole flock. Note, ducks. They quack things up. My granddaughter turns five this year. Can you believe it? She's growing big so fast, I'm thinking of making my knitting modular. Time really flies, huh? No kidding. I didn't even realize how old I was getting until I broke my other hip. Word of advice. Don't go breaking your hip. Yeah, I've been lucky on that front so far. Seriously, I shouldn't even be out right now. Uh, why are you out right now? It's like just a bag of loose bones rattling around in there, I tell you. Just clanging and clanging and clanging and clanging. How are you even standing up? It's like a bag of beans in there, I tell you. Go home, dear. Okay, the memory ends there. Can we go inside? Doesn't seem like it. Yep. We haven't found our mem- Ah! She was not there before. Also haven't found our memento. What 
what's this? Their call card. I printed out another. Sigmund Corps. What made you change your mind? I still feel the same way about it. But some days I wake up and see you on the balcony looking out like that. You don't say it, but I know there's something that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Of course I am. I have you and Asher. Then why do you want to go through with their services? Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Not that it'd be related to you two, anyhow. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. I wouldn't forget about- I won't forget about you. Hey. Hmm. I think I forgot to bring duck food. Huh. Me too. Well, that explains her attitude. I told you there was something up with her. You know, she can always sign up with Sigcorp for a life where Colin never signed up with Sigcorp. Har har. Is that our memento? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to call it here. I know we didn't get too far in terms of recording. It's been just over an hour, but I... My voice is thrashed. I need to go drink something warm. And I've been streaming for a while. I did the mini-sodes before this, so... Um, yeah, it's interesting so far. That's a very interesting wish to want. I will obtain some cocoa for my Keurig. So, yeah. Um, it's, yeah, that's classic RPG Maker stuff right there. We Okay. Um, again, sorry about all that, but, you know. That's all I can stink and do. Not gonna lie, I kind of missed the actual wish part because cat, but this is a neat game series. I like the concept. He wants... He wants a life where everything's the same, but he feels more fulfilled. He doesn't want anything to change. And they were like, well, that's not possible. That's what we do. We change things. And he's like, okay, fine. Make whatever changes you need to, except leave my family alone. Yeah, it is interesting. The way the store page describes it is um, Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts have peculiar jobs. They give people another chance to live all the way from the very beginning, but only in their patients' heads. Due to the severity of the operation, the new life becomes the last thing the patients remember before drawing their last breath. Thus, the operation is only done to people on their deathbeds to fulfill what they wish they had done with their lives but didn't. Finding Paradise is the second full episode of To the Moon series. It follows the life of the Doctor's new patient, Colin, as they attempt to unravel a life that is split down the middle and fulfill a wish that appears to be self-contradictory by nature. So I was like, interesting. Very interesting. And like, uh, like, it, uh, like To the Moon, there's only one uh, Achievo, and that is just completing the game. They don't really care about achievements. But they're like, hey, you beat the game. You get one. They are big on trading cards, though. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it is interesting. I'm, uh, I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. 
But yeah. Um, so thank you guys for showing up. I literally have no idea what's going on. I, I had kind of an idea what was going on with To the Moon, like just from hearing so much about it. But again, I've heard nothing about Finding Paradise and literally nothing about Imposter Factory because that came out uh, in September. So no, no. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you on a Monday. So thank you guys so much and uh, on YouTube and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.